Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Splatoon 2 Online Let's Play. Today, as you can see, we're trying out the Dark Tech for Julies, which are a new variation of Julies, and the main deal with them is they can dodge roll four times in a row, which means the pause of like movement after you've rolled is quite long, so you need to use them carefully because if you just use them in the middle of a big open area you might also die and in the same update that these came out the new map Gobi Arena came out now that currently isn't in the stage like roll rotation so I can't do a video on it yet but hopefully at some point I will be able to do that but anyway let's get into some games with this weapon here we are in our first game on Kelp Dome. Now I have used these Julies very briefly in a few games, so I don't know much about them yet. But they are very popular at the moment, as like in this game for example there's three and I've had one game where literally all eight people, obviously including me, were using them. Now that first fight didn't go well because I died against that person, but hopefully we can do a bit better, the sub is the auto bomb, which is pretty good, and the special is the splashdown, which to be honest I don't really like that much, but it's still a decent special, like can we get to you, yes we can. Now I've not really seen any environments yet where the dodge roll would come in useful, there was one actually against a charger. I think there's someone behind me. No, doesn't look like it. There's someone somewhere. Don't know where. Oop, there. And I got them. I think that Autobahn must have blown him because I can't see it. Now, this weapon seems to be pretty good at coverage, which is to be expected from a Julie weapon, as they're all pretty much good at getting coverage. Now let's go rush their spawn some more. Ooh, that was person. Got them. Don't know where they went and hid, but the splash down got them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, I can probably dodge. Yep. Four dodge rolls make it pretty much impossible to be hit from a charger when you're right in front of them. Probably is possible, but well, you still might get hit, but. The chances of you dying when you're close to one are very slim. Wait, is anyone coming? Because I'm essentially stuck here until that sniper comes down. Right, they're coming down, but I don't know if they're going to come off that platform. There we go. Should be able to get them. Yep, got them. Alright, let's cover this and then... We need to go to our spawn maybe, or I could just stay here, because their team said it's been, and I'm dead. But their team, if you look at the top, is in danger, ours isn't, which is probably because we have the middle as well as some of their base, some of their base, which is good, plus we now have our base as well. Right, someone just tried to get mid control, but hopefully they won't manage. There we go, got them killed. And it looks like we're going to win. Just uh, an auto bomb to get some last minute tear. And that should be a win. That auto bomb barely did anything. Because it detected someone that I'd just killed. But yeah, that is a very obvious and big win. We're over on Snapper Canal this time. And we've got four Dark Tech Tredulies this time. I think that's more than last game. I can't remember how many were in the last game but they are very good at coverage as I did pretty well last game didn't manage to get a thousand I don't think but it's not the end of the world we don't always get a thousand don't know why that person just super jumps and by the looks of it there's a charger somewhere don't know wait no they're dead that's fine I'm 
You need to have really quick reaction times to not die when someone reaches a splashdown when you have yours. Because if you can, I'm pretty sure if you can press it like the same time they press theirs, pretty much you won't die. But I don't know. The problem was with the situation where I died was I was planning on using the splashdown on them anyway, and still did at the same time I would have done just didn't notice until after I'd pressed the button that they'd used a splash down as well. Mainly because I didn't know what weapon they were using because they weren't covering anything for whatever reason. Even though it is the main point of Terraform to cover stuff. Surprising how many people don't seem to know that because there's loads of people who will barely get any coverage in the game and therefore lose. I might be able to get this person. There we go. It's often a good tactic to, if you see someone coming when you have a splash down, not rush to them, wait for them to come to you. Quite often do that with a lot of things, especially rollers, because in the 2.3.0 patch, the carbon rollers horizontal, like the area where you can one shot someone is a bit bigger so you could for example port mackerel you just wait behind one of the like shipping containers and when someone comes you just instantly splat them and it works like that on quite a lot of maps and then you do a similar thing with a splash down and I don't think there's any other specials where that really works maybe a suction bomb launcher because you shove them all over the walls and then the second the player jumps down they pretty much die I'm just going to use this because I don't want to hold on to it for too long because I'll probably just end up losing it. Plus it's almost the end of the game. So probably aren't going to get another chance to kill someone. Right, there's someone over there on my good project. Throw a bomb. Got a bit of coverage with that. Pretty sure we won this game. Yep. Definitely. Probably another like 60%. Yep, 64%. Here we are in another game on at Kelp Dome. We seem to be switching between the maps each round, which is good in my opinion. I quite like it when it does that. I think that was a charger. No, it wasn't. We don't have a charger. It must have been the crack on splat really. Right, is anyone. Nope, doesn't seem to. I'll just throw a bomb. Right, I might be able to go get these. Someone's killed them anyway. And that's mid control pretty much. Right, that defeats my plan of sneaking up on someone. Still probably get someone with the splash down there. Did not get a chance to splash down there. Well, I did. I just didn't react fast enough. Plus, I got one shot, so not exactly much chance of being able to overcome that. I think how blasters work is if you're a certain distance away from someone and to get a direct hit, it's just a one shot. So I think that's what happened there. Didn't think that would get them. Don't know why I'm doing so bad at killing with this weapon. Usually pretty good with the duelies. So it's a bit strange. Right, let's cover this little corner because we can. And it's a bit extra coverage. Not doing amazing on coverage at the moment, but doesn't matter too much. Right, let's go into their spawn again. Someone seems to like putting ink mines there. Ink mines are never usually a bad thing because it's very rare that they actually kill you because they barely do any damage. The main thing of using ink mines is just to detect someone's location or to get them to move off the tower in tower control. 
because if you put multiple up there, generally it'll get the people to move off, or at least make them have to retain tomorrow to could kill them. Who knows there? Right, only a little bit left of this game, and I don't really know who's going to win. It's pretty 50-50. rush into their spawn and they're in danger so we've probably won let's go bomb and see who won yep it now I don't want to jinx it and this probably will but so far we've done really well we've won the three games we've played so far hopefully that will continue but knowing my luck because I've just said and clearly noticed it it won't happen but I guess we'll find out. There's someone over here who might be easy to kill. Nope. I think they've got trolled further back. Maybe. I don't know why I can detect some players randomly now. Like there. Maybe it's an ability I've got on my gear. I don't know. Must be. Maybe it's after I shoot someone I can see them. No, because I haven't shot them. Anyway, there is way too much purple ink over here that I need to cover. We're definitely losing, which I did expect after mentioning about getting three wins in a row. Still, it's not brilliant. I can hopefully be able to splash down if I meet any people. I'm gonna stay here. That I thought they were gonna have a splash down. They must have been the crack on their room. And I'm dead. Never seem to be able to kill that person. Or anyone with Julius for that matter. And we have someone doing nothing. That's not gonna help us win. I think they are doing nothing as well. No they they will probably do something in real life. I'm gonna try to get middle. I think there's someone above me. But it might have been someone from our team because I didn't get attacked. I don't know if that was good timing or not. No, it wasn't. Should have probably used it earlier. I was going to assume the time it takes for that arrow to go down once it started going down is the same time it takes to use this class down, but clearly not. That was a nice double kill though. And we're doing okay on coverage. We might even get which would be nice if we do. I don't know if this has longer range than the Dapple or not. I have to test it. Right, I do not know if I'll end up getting a thousand piano. I'm gonna throw a bomb in the middle and then shoot in the middle as well. Now, we definitely lost that one. We're on Kelp Dome again, three times in a row now, I think. Um, hopefully we can win this time. There's four, no, five even, Tefra Julius in this game. And one thing I've been wondering about this weapon is, I wonder if there's, a, if there's going to be a light Tefra Julius variant or something like that. I don't know though. I probably could find out by looking in the... There's this page thing that has like all the future weapons and stuff on it. I think they do it by looking in the game files or something. So if there is something on this in there, then that's a sign could be coming. But who knows? Right. I'm gonna see if we can get them. Yep. Someone over there as well. And I got a double kill. Which is pretty good to be honest, because I've not been doing brilliant with this weapon so far in terms of kills. 
Now our team is almost fully tetrajulia, so I hope there's no weapons on their team that are really good against them, which I don't think there is. Because this game basically has two weapons. Because it has two arrows plays and five tetrajulia, so the only really different kind of weapon is the Rock Blaster. And the Julies are, I'd say they're probably better than the Aeros because I think they've got more range. I don't know though. As I said that, I got killed by an Aeros Which isn't brilliant, obviously. Right, someone just threw a Ink Storm and I, oh good, I think we I was going to say I might not be able to avoid it. Right, someone is right here, and here, and I died. Don't seem to be able to kill that person. Probably because I'm jumping right in front of them, maybe if I got to the point where I was prepared or worse, you know, I might be able to kill them. I don't know though, I just did get them there, which is nice, and I'm going to try getting them. Basically, whoever has the middle usually wins. Well, I'm just gonna use this. I think I needed ink. Plus, I was in a difficult situation. I'm gonna try. Just never mind. Someone jumped up there with me. Not doing amazing this game. Alright, let's launch an auto bomb in there and see how. The final game of this episode went. Looks like a loss to me. Yeah, by quite a bit as well. So, even though that was unfortunate, we did get more wins this episode than losses, which is nice. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. And, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.